The use of the lever will be demonstrated for a system that has both liquids and solids as well as solids and solids in equilibrium. And the lever rule allows us to determine how much of each phase we have when we have more than one phase present and we know the composition, the overall composition. So let's look at an example. This is temperature versus the mole fraction of silicon in this binary mixture. This is the compound and this region is liquid plus solid silicon equilibrium. So let's look at this point here and assume this we have this overall composition. We might have started with a liquid up here and cooled it down, but we're sitting here in equilibrium with this overall composition. And the question is, how much of each phase do we have? So we have some liquid phase here, and then here we have silicon solid. The lever rule essentially says we could envision this to look like a small seesaw where we have a weight on this end and a weight on this end and from this diagram you can see that for this seesaw to be balanced this weight here has to be much greater than this weight here. And then the, the lever rule says we can determine the balance by just saying let's define this as distance between the end and the center, the lever, and this distance B between the other end and the center. Le the lever rule then says A, that distance, times L will represent the number of moles or the fraction, but let's say number of moles, and we'll pick a basis of one mole to make the calculations easy. A times L is equal to B times the number of moles of solid silicon. So L represents moles of liquid, and this represents moles of silicon solid. So solid silicon is in equilibrium with a liquid that has both components. And so we essentially can solve this equation by reading the compositions off here to determine the number of moles of each species. So the overall composition, call that Z, overall mole fraction is 0 0.7. So this is overall composition. The composition of the liquid, the mole fraction of silicon in the liquid is about 0 0.62, and the mole fraction of silicon in the solid, of course, is 1.0, it's pure silicon. So using this information, we can substitute in, we essentially don't know the number of moles of liquid, but that's what we're trying to determine. A is the difference between this overall composition, 0.7, minus the composition of the liquid, 0.62, and then the number of moles of silicon times B, and B is overall the composition 1, mole fraction 1, minus the lever, 0.7. And so we have a simple algebraic equation that we can rearrange. So you can get to L times 0.08, and in silicon times 0.3. So I've done the division, divide 0.3 by 0.08. And of course, we picked as our bases one mole. So that meant that L plus the number of moles of silicon is equal to one. Or so L is one minus the number of moles of silicon. And now we have a simple algebraic equation that we can solve for the number of moles of silicon, 0 0.210 moles, which means L is one minus that 0 0.790 moles. So the lever rule is essentially just a mass balance. And so we could just do a mass balance and say, we know our, our overall composition. So that means when we start it with one mole, so now this is just an alternate way of looking at this. We started with one mole and the overall composition was 0.70. So that meant we had 0.7, 0 0.7 moles of silicon, 0 0.3 moles, put a zero here. And magnesium. So what we can do is just a mass balance on the silicon. Namely, we have a liquid, so many moles of liquid, and the mole fraction of silicon is 0.62. So 0.62 times the moles of liquid, this is the number of moles of silicon in the liquid, plus the number of moles of silicon solid must add up to 0.70. And then likewise, a balance of magnesium, the number of moles of liquid, the mole fraction, the magnesium in the liquid, plus the number of moles of magnesium in the solid, which is zero, and that must equal 0.3L. So in this case, it's simplified even from the lever rule, 0.79, and therefore moles of silicon, 
0 0.21. The same example, same numbers we got from the lever rule. So it's the same answer. This is where the lever rule came from, is essentially doing a mass balance. So the same idea works if we have two solid phases in equilibrium. Let's suppose we're at this overall composition of 0.5. Well, that means we're in equilibrium, always horizontal line for equilibrium because it has to be the same temperature, pure silicon, so many moles of pure silicon. And now this is this compound, so we have so many moles of the compound. And we could again say this is A and this distance is B and write down in the same way the application of lever rule. We say the number of moles of the compound multiplied by A equal the number of moles of pure silicon multiplied by B. So I'm going to rearrange this number of moles of silicon over number of moles of magnesium silicate, silicide, is equal to A divided by B. A is this distance 0 0.5 minus 0 0.33, and B is 1 minus 0 0.5. So that's equal to 0 0.34, which means the number of moles of silicon is 0 0.34 times the number of moles of our compound. So this is equal to 0 0.34 times 1 minus the number of moles of silicon. Once again, our basis is 1 mole total of solid. So 1 mole total of solid. And so if we do the math, we have number of moles of silicon, and therefore number of moles of the compound. And so essentially, what the lever rule is telling us is the amount of the compound is proportional to B, where the amount of the silicon is proportional to the A. In other words, the further we weigh, away we are, our average is from our pure silicon. In this case, for our overall composition, the closer we are to this, and the more we have of this. So B over A, or let's say A over B, in the lever rule, is proportional to the number of moles of silicon over the number of moles of the compound. So this divided by this, is proportional number of moles of silicon over the compound. That That's the lever rule. We can do it for any binary system where we have two phases. We can apply it in this region, this region, this region, and of course this region.